One of the advantages of having a wife as a university student is we get to come to Chatham Do Historic Dockyard, even though it's closed, because she has to do, I don't know, university stuff, whatever that is. And that means we get to come in here when there's nobody else in here. One of the problems I do have with this setup is I can't see how far away the camera needs to be from my ugly face. I have got one of those flippy up screens, but there's a microphone in the way, so I can't see the screen and record sound at the time, same time. Obviously, that's one of the reasons that the serious bloggers or vloggers will go, oh yeah, but that's not a real serious vlogger's camera. But it works for me. There are some lovely things to see if you come down to the dockyard. Some naval ships, helicopters, various things keep you entertained. Obviously, you'll have to wait till it's open again. A lot of filming happens in this area. It's a very popular place to come for film crews. Call the Midwife was filmed here, among many other things. People who were sailing out of the Chatham docks used to carve their name into the wall and uh, some of them go back many many years 1800 a lot of those people when they left here they were never coming back all the boats have been parked up nobody's allowed to go out sailing at the moment I would have imagined that there was fairly good social distancing if you were out on a sailing boat, but then who am I to say? I suppose nothing going up and down it too well. Turn it up. So we're in lockdown. We're not in lockdown. We're sort of in lockdown. Semi-lockdown. Nobody really seems sure. So one of the things you can't do is come over and visit us. However, we can have any number of people in our house, estate agents, plumbers, cleaners. So if you'd like to come and fix the bog, we'd be happy to make you a cup of tea. We've uh, done what we came here to do, and we've been accosted by a security guard who said, under no circumstances must we walk around the docks. We have to do what we came for and go straight back out. Which I suppose is fair enough, you can see their point, otherwise every bugger and his brother would want to be down here. I have to say I'm really impressed with the Weeble S. I've seen a lot of people on uh, Facebook and so on complaining about it, but I'm very impressed with it. I've had enough of all this walking malarkey. My little toe is hurting, so I'm going to go home for a cup of tea and a fag. Oh well, we're back at the car. So that's the end of our little trip down to the docks.